On today's episode we would be looking at how Tesla is allowing FSD transfers for recent orders and how Cybertruck Master Candidates has signal imminent production at Texas Gigafactory. In a move that balances technological advancement with customer realities, Tesla has launched the FSD beta trials for select owners and adjusted the stipulations of the FSD transfer program. Addressing the weight with FSD beta trials For owners who secured a Tesla with hardware 4 through a referral, the company offered $500 off and a 3-month trial of FSD. Tesla is now rolling out an additional three months of complimentary FSD beta. This extension aims to compensate for the waiting period experienced by some customers before the feature became available post-delivery. Once the trial concludes, customers interested in retaining the FSD capability can do so via the upgrade section of the Tesla app. It's imperative for users to understand that the FSD system, while advanced, is not autonomous and requires active driver supervision, reinforcing the need for driver vigilance. Flexibility in FSD Transfer Program Tesla is also amending the conditions of the FSD Transfer Program. The initial requirement necessitated customers to take delivery of their new Tesla by September 30th, 2023 to qualify for FSD transfer. Given the potential for delivery delays and subsequent customer feedback, this no longer appears to be a hard requirement according to Drive Tesla Canada. However, the order must still be placed before the specified date, with customers completing all pre-delivery tasks and making an honest effort to take delivery before the deadline. In cases of custom configurations, if a matching vehicle is available in existing inventory, customers must accept the readily available option. While this alteration in policy is practical, it may necessitate some recalibration for prospective buyers. Tesla says you can activate the FSD trial by navigating to Vehicle Settings and selecting Autopilot followed by Full Self-Driving Beta on the in-car touchscreen. This appears to be the first time that Tesla is referring to controls as vehicle settings. Settings aligns better with other platforms and leads to less confusion for new users. The Cybertruck Master Candidates Joe Tetmeyer, a drone pilot who has been providing aerial footage of Giga Texas for more than three years, posted more footage that will make Tesla Cybertruck reservation holders happy. The latest insights paint a picture of revitalized activity at Gigafactory Texas, revealing that most of the employees have come back to work. The busy parking lots and lines of employees awaiting transport, unseen for the past three weeks, underscore a renewed momentum. Crafting the Master Candidates Tedmeyer's coverage goes all around the factory, but he caught a rare glimpse of what could be the unicorn, the actual production-ready Cybertruck. Weather conditions the night before had left the covers off what are believed to be two Master Candidates. I was fortunate to capture these images while the car cover was off because of some storms that came through last night, he shares, showcasing the refined state and readiness for production. These are the final candidates being produced to ensure all the tooling is correct, all the training is correct, explains Tetmeyer. Highlighting the crucial role these units play in ironing out the nuances of production. This series, also known as the 800 series, is notably closer to the final production version than the earlier release candidates of Series 6 that we spotted around the country over the last couple of months. Insights suggest that Tesla's leadership was set to conduct a final evaluation of the Cybertrucks, a decisive step before giving the green light to official production. Identifying these vehicles as master candidates has sparked online speculations and noticeable changes for reservation holders on Tesla's platform. It's great to see, remarks Tetmeyer, discussing the anticipation surrounding these vehicles, pivotal in validating the production line's final changes and operations. What do you think? Please, share your opinion in the comments section below.
Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it, that is so important for getting our content out to more people. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next.